Welcome to my home renovation. This is where I live. And this home did not look like this a few years ago. Hi, James Garrett here. Welcome to my renovation. You see that dude behind us? That's what we're moving to. We made it, what I'd like to think, the best version of itself. It's a 1945 home and we kept the original charm. Those windows right there are the original windows. They're wood windows and they have a little wave to them that you see from back in the day. These windows on this side, they were aluminum when I bought it. We replaced it with two pane vinyl windows. The walkway we're walking on is new. Those staircases right there, they were falling apart and we retiled it. We have irrigation in the landscaping. And on the outside, new roof, new gutters. And of course, this yellow charming door. Come on in, let's take a look at the inside. The inside did not look like this when we got the home, but I love the original charm. It has this front tilted windows. Those are original. They're wood, single pane. They even have a little wave to them. The fireplace, the cove ceilings. You can even see the shelving in the dining room. They have these curves to them, these mid-century charms that you don't make today. Uh, used to have green, ugly carpet everywhere. We pulled up the carpet, scraped the glue, refinished the floors. These are original floors, likely. If you come into the kitchen, the whole kitchen was redone. Uh, the flooring, there was, there was tile and vinyl throughout this whole area, both with asbestos. We had it tested. It cost about $5,000 to remove all the asbestos we found in this home, but it brought it down to the subfloor. It's like a new home now in an old shell. All the plumbing, all the electrical has been updated and come this way. I want to show you this for a moment. If, if we put up the floor picture right here, <laughs> right? This whole thing was redone by a hardwood flooring guy. And uh, yeah, essentially that is not original, but he matched the original pattern. This bathroom right here did not look like that. The before was a much uglier bathroom. And I think uh, I'm quite impressed what our contractor did with the space. And it has in-floor in, in, in heating as well. All right, come on through. Now into the master wing. I want to show you this because this was just one big room and we added a bathroom and I think the bathroom looks pretty cool. So come take a look. I love this bathroom because it's like, it's all light. It's all almost the same color, but there's so many different textures in it. Anyway, we made use of the space in the best possible way, in my opinion. And I think it looks really cool. All right, and now for our backyard. We created a little oasis in the middle of the suburbs. This is our piece of paradise. We have a hot tub, we have a pool. It was originally built in the 1960s, but we brought it back to life in a renovation. We redid, redid all the concrete around it and all the pool plumbing systems as well. If you're gonna spend the money on redoing the concrete and pool and all the walkways around the home, you wanna make sure all the pipes are good underneath. It's a good opportunity to replace your drainage if it's all drainage, and that's what we did as well. So all the drainage pipes, all the pools pipes, every pipe that runs underneath this concrete, which is expensive and it's gonna last a long time, should be good for a very long time. And we should never have to break this apart. I love the concrete. It has an acid wash finish, which is good for the grip for the kids running around the pool. And one thing I want to point out is artificial turf. If you're thinking about putting artificial turf in your backyard or thinking about putting a putting green in, I love it, but it's expensive. And there's a couple things you should know. I would say in today's value, it's probably about a $15,000 cost to put this in. You never have to mow it. It's clean. It's more usable year round and it works well for us in the pool. Now, that being said, if you didn't put a putting green in, it'd be a little bit cheaper. And on the hottest days of summer, it gets a little hot. But overall, I would say this is a big must if you're trying to make the most usable backyard space in your backyard. I wanna show you what we did with the, the deck here. So this is a covered deck. It used to be a solarium. We got these cedar beams and cedar wood with some fancy gutters. And the, you can see the burnt wood behind that. That used to be burnt from the solarium before. We did yellow cedar decking. We did some funky angled concrete planters. I thought it was a nice touch for the landscaping. And overall, I'm thrilled with how it turned out. And I can't believe I'm talking about this without even pointing out the lifeguard tower. So yes, it's a bit ridiculous, but I have three kids and it gets used. <laughs> we designed it in a way that you could lower the platform and convert it into just a sun deck if you chose. Now for the garage, follow me. We have never parked a car in here. We forfeited our garage, made it an extension of our home, and it was probably one of the best decisions we made. Three kids, a lot of nights here getting them tired. 
what we did is we put three quarter inch plywood everywhere. Well, first we insulated the garage, which is important because one area heater, when it's minus five out in the winter, will keep this place warm or bearable. Three quarter inch plywood, you can spend the money on the rock folds, but one little tip I'll suggest is plumber's pipe is a lot cheaper and honestly, they use it more. And this ring right here was $30 and they use it far more than anything else you see behind them. So spend your dollars wisely and don't go overboard with $100 of rock holds if you have small kids. This garage, we got the, oh yeah, one other thing I'll mention, two inch mats, 12 inch mats. Those are crash pads. They're about $3,500 in total. You're looking at about $2,000 worth of fixtures on the wall, $2,000 worth of plywood. I would say all in all, this is about a $10,000 conversion. You'll never park a car in it, but it will be your own little gym, climbing wall, rec room, garage. Anyway, that's it for now. Oh, <laughs> that's not it for now. I want to give you the full rundown of the project. We spent just over $400,000 on this project in 2018. 200 of that was on the inside of the home and 200 of that was on the outside landscaping, exterior of the home and the garage and pool. Not everyone has a pool. You might have a bit of savings there. This is a 3,000 square foot mid-century home. And if you're looking at one yourself that's completely original or dated, budget for $400,000 to $500,000 to bring it completely back to life inside and out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my home. I enjoyed showing it to you. Bye-bye.